Lisa had just woke up from a coma. She found herself in a set of tubes. Her hand was inlaid with a luminous bracelet. No matter how loudly she yelled, there was no response around. The small door opened at the end of the tube. She curiously crawled in. The door immediately closed. Meanwhile, the luminous bracelet started to count down. And at the end of another tube, there was another door closed. Just then, Lisa understood. It was an escape game. Just like a worm, she crawled. When she reached the end of the tube, the door closed. To Lisa, it was a very narrow passage. She used all her strength, struggling to crawl forward. She came to the second tube. This tube was wider than the one she just got through. She could stretch her arms comfortably. But when she looked down, the bottom of the tube kept rising. Lisa could only crawl forward desperately. The platform rose faster and faster. Lisa was almost out of breath. When she reached the end of the tube, she struggled to get a hold of the platform. <laughs> to the third tube, Lisa had been exhausted. She said that she wanted to go home, but the bracelet in her hand just coldly continued counting down. She had to crawl along the tube for a long time. Suddenly, there was something blocking her way. No matter she tried, she couldn't open it. The timer showed there was only less than a minute left. Meanwhile, the tube glowed red. Some red sticks appeared. The tube started to heat up. In the middle of the tube, there was a little room for her to cover herself. Lisa crawled back and immediately got into the small space. Suddenly, a transparent door closed. The timer on Lisa's hand counted down to zero. Her time was running out. Until she was safe from the heat, the timer started to count down again. Lisa collapsed, but she knew that she had to break the rules. She couldn't get away from this place by herself. She kept climbing forward. Finally, she came to the fourth tube. There was a pool of water. Lisa could finally quench her thirst. She took a breath before she dived into the water. She searched for the exit everywhere. Finally, she found it. But the danger was far from over. There was a sudden spray of water over the tube. It seemed that she hasn't passed the fourth level yet. This was just the fourth tube. Water was going to spread all over the passage. Lisa held her breath and dived into the water again. When the water stopped pouring out, Lisa followed the spout of water. Through the hole, she finally came out. She didn't know how long she'd been crawling. When she came to the fifth tube, suddenly, she triggered something. The platform under her opened. Under her was the green liquid. Lisa tore off a piece of her clothes, dipping it into the liquid. It turned out to be a pool of sulfuric acid. At that time, the timer started to count down. Lisa didn't know what would happen when the timer ran out. She had to find a way out. In the small passage, she moved like a frog. Below her was the extremely dangerous sulfuric acid. She could only move a few inches each time. The acid was just a few inches away. Only one mistake was made, she was done. Almost there, she was getting closer to the exit. But just when she wanted to rest, her knee accidentally touched the acid. She suffered from severe pain, but she still didn't give up. All of a sudden, she seemed to hear someone's cry. She followed the sound and climbed forward. There was another person in the tube. On the other side of the fence, a man was in the same situation as her. We, we have to stay calm and find a solution. Suddenly, a few red sticks appeared. In the middle of the tube, a small room appeared. Lisa and Adam had realized in less than a minute, this tube would operate like the third one, turning into an oven. Who getting the small room first would be the one to escape the tragedy of being burned to death. Both of them were struggling to crawl forward. Adam was as strong as a tiger. Lisa was as calm as a snake. She was just about to crawl into the small room, but Adam strangled her. She had to fight with him to be in the room. She hooked her foot on the edge of the room and started kicking him. Adam couldn't manage with one hand. He was kicked out. Lisa stepped on his hand. Meanwhile, the timer was over. Adam's hand was cut by the door. And the next second, he was going to be in hell. When Lisa woke up again, she took Adam's hand. There were strange symbols on his wrist. Just then, there was a fan in front of Lisa. The fan was coming closer to her, cutting Adam's hand into pieces. Lisa had to quickly crawl backward. The fan gained speed, moving to her faster. It was going to slaughter her face. Fortunately, she escaped in the nick of time. The timer started to count down again. Lisa had to keep on crawling. She didn't know which tube was the exit. This time, a monster appeared behind her. She struggled to crawl forward. The monster was fast after her. When she thought she finally passed the level, in front of her, a few iron pillars with thorns came up. All of a sudden, the timer started to count down again. In the tube, the familiar red sticks appeared. Facing the approaching monster, Lisa could only lean down, enduring the pain of thorns scraping through her skin. At last, she couldn't stand it. It was less than two meters from the exit. But she was too tired and fell to the ground. When Lisa woke up, she found herself was back to the starting point. To get out of the set of tubes, Lisa could only start again following the rules of the game. 
Now she was familiar with every tube, she passed the first tube quickly. In the second tube, there was no hardship. In the third tube, she skillfully passed the oven. In the fourth tube, she dived skillfully under the water. In the fifth tube, it was the sulfuric acid that could corrode anything. Lisa suddenly remembered Adam's wrist showed some strange symbols. She might have them too. She checked it on her own. She dissolved her bracelet with sulfuric acid. There were also strange symbols on her wrist. These symbols were all simple. She followed the clues one by one. This was the way to the left. There she needed to take the right. But in the middle of the crawl, here came the monster again. The strange thing was no matter which tube she chose, the monster always spotted her position. She suddenly realized that the bracelet was attached with a chip. So she dropped the bracelet on the other tube. The monster followed the bracelet. She escaped the monster. Now, Lisa couldn't be held back anymore. She finally came to the last tube. There was a fork on the tube. Lisa looked at the symbols in her hand. She needed to take the right. She was just about to crawl to the right. There was a strange sound coming from the left. A ball suddenly appeared in front of her. Lisa looked up. Her facial expression suddenly changed. How did her daughter show up in front of her? Her daughter wanted to hold her, but Lisa quickly dodged. She remembered her daughter had died a long time ago. At that time, Lisa left her daughter home alone. She could only play ball, but she was not careful, falling off the window. Over the years, Lisa had always lived with grief. Now when she saw her daughter again, she couldn't help but shed her tears. Her daughter told her to follow her to the left, so they could be together forever. Lisa took her daughter by her wrist, going down the tube with her. But Lisa just felt something wrong. This must be a trap the host wanted to play on her. She apologized to her daughter, touching her face. Finally, she left her. She crawled into the tube on the right. What made the situation worse was the last level was very difficult. Three blades fell off regularly. The slightest carelessness would get her head cut off. But she quickly found a solution. As long as her timing was accurate, she would be able to make it. The last blade only stopped for two seconds. She didn't care. She just pushed herself forward. This was the end of the game. Lisa crawled out bit by bit. She reached out to touch the light. This was the frontal crystal. It turned out that her ending was already doomed. Lisa cried her defeat. Just then, a beam of light hit her in the face. Her body floated. After a dazzling state, Lisa was now in the fairy world. The trees were full of shade, the willows were dark and the flowers were red. The little girl behind her was her own daughter. When she heard what her daughter said, it suddenly occurred to her that before she entered the tube, she had seen aliens come to the earth. The aliens put her in the tube just to put her through a lot of trials. High temperature, heat, strong acid, narrow space. They were all aliens games to test her limit. The realization suddenly hit her. She finally made it to the outer planet, starting a new journey. Qu'est-ce que je dois faire?